we have a shape inside of a shape. So that means to find the shaded area in between, we need to subtract. In this case, both shapes are circles. Just have a bigger circle and then a smaller circle. So we will be subtracting the area of the big circle minus the area of the small circle. All right. Um, let's start with a small circle because that's the most obvious. Uh, well, in both cases, the area is pi r squared. So that's how you find the area of a circle. For the small circle, the radius is going to be 12. So that makes this pi times 12 squared, or 144 pi. Okay, so that's the area of the small circle. Now let's do the area of the big circle. Well, first of all, um, well, of course, the area is still pi r squared. So we just need the radius. Is it 24? Is it 8? Well, that's none of the above. So the, the radius of the big circle is like this blue line that I'm drawing right here. Okay, so how long would that be? Well, this part on the inside is 12. And this part on the outside is 8, which you can see because of this little piece over here. So all together, that makes 20. So that means the radius of the big circle is 20. So this is going to be pi times 20 squared. So that's going to make 400 pi. Now, if we put this together, so we have to subtract. So we have to do 400 pi minus 144 pi. So that's going to be 256 pi. And if you're looking for an exact answer, that would be it. Or you could write that as a decimal, which would be 804.25 square meters. And that's it.